Okay, um, this is kind of what's going on with the TDI. Um, right now I made a graph of, this is, this is, um, all based off going around the street. So it wasn't at idle. This was load on a vehicle and driving, shifting. Uh, I'm kind of uphill, so maybe these numbers might be a little lower, but, um, so basically... I have time. I don't know why that's there. I didn't put that on the chart. RPMs, which kind of ignore after the map because it, it really fucks up the rest of these. Um, requested, actual, requested, actual. These ones you can basically ignore because I have the tape around the map to make it maxed out at 848. And it's not going to request anything because the EGR was deleted. So it's always going to be zero. Um... Fuel injected quantities, requested an actual, that's a little weird. So at loader, <clears throat> I guess this would be idle. Ugh, sorry, idle, and then this is when it starts putting throttle on. Uh, it's really not that off. I mean, you're basically dead on at every given time that it ever requests it, except for right, right there. But that might be just a really glitchy graphing system. Um, Crest 3, got 3, 38, to, I mean, it's not that far off, this one's a 10 off, but, it's, yeah, this one's a little off too, but, um, and then it just didn't request anything when I was sitting at idle, which is normal because it requests it based off the throttle. So, that's pretty normal, you know, when you let off the throttle, it's going to go to zero, and then, you know, stick to idle. It's going to stay at zero until you hit the throttle. Um, this is where I think my problem is. So, if you look at these, this is at idle. All this is at idle. It's all wrong. I'm off of 153. AC was on. Uh, if the AC's not on, the actual goes down to 9... 89 or something like that and then the request is goes down to a thousand so it's still it's still off ec or not it's just really fucking hot today i'm not <laughs> i'm not really beat to burn my biscuits off all right <laughs> but um this is the best thing i could think of to get a graph going uh once you hit 2100 finally starts to move this is why I thought it was like a, a turbo, a slope spool and turbo or something. I'm not really sure um, because you see the request is 21. I just hit 21,000 RPMs and I'm just hitting 1,100. What's weird is my PSI will actually still change, but I don't know the conversion from, you know, uh, you know psi to actual because this does absolute pressure and psi does not so i don't know the difference I, I think it was i don't i don't remember to be honest anyway moving right along looks like a um decelerated that's matching up that's matching up that's not matching up that's matching up now we're accelerating a little bit doesn't match up Matches up, matches up. Deceleration, deceleration. This is looks like idle. I was at the stop sign. There's a stop sign on the side of my street, so I guess that's where I was. Stupid curve monitor. Um, let's see. We're going up in RPMs. Starting to move. Starting to match. Now it's not. Now it's way off. Now it's extremely off. Start to lower that on. That's dead on. Well, not dead on, but it's a lot better. That's off. That's off. So this is why. And this is below a thousand. So I don't know what's going on there. Actually, that's the that's a requested side, right? Yeah. So this is the one where my cursor is actual. This is requested. Just so we're on a sprint track. Or I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong two lines. <laughs> This is request, this is actual, this is requested, this is RPMs. See, we're going down, we're going down. It's still not matching up, nothing's matching up. Kinda matched up there. It's not really, it's 
over 200. I uh, did hit limp mode, and this is about where I hit limp mode. It's right here, where it like maxes out. 18, 19. Hit limp mode, I was like, ah, fuck. Start ma yeah, stuff starts matching up. Now it's not. Did a UE. And that's it. If you want me to post the graph of me without plugging the math, basically what that's going to do is I'm going to set this to, I think it sticks around 450. I put a different air filter on it because I'm just testing things to see what, just cheap little things to see if anything affects this, you know, what my problem could be, what it couldn't be. Um, I, I kind of don't think it's the turbo. I kind of think it's maybe a gasket. The intake or the exhaust gasket's fucked up. Um, that's my graph. I mean, if you want to see the picture graph, it, it ain't pretty. I mean, that's, that's the graph. Um, you can see, I don't know why I'm moving this. I can move my camera. Uh, RPMs are the blue. Uh, map requests are actual. Requested is the orange. The actual is the yellow. They rarely ever meet. You can see that. The request is always this high. And I'm about right here. This is where I peek out. Right about here. So I'm like... <laughs> limited. <laughs> uh... This is the graph with the injection quantity, which I'm not really concerned about. And then I didn't even bother doing math because, well, that piece a straight line all the way through. So, um, this is just my shot at this. I'm going to post this on YouTube, send the link to ID guys and see. Uh, I'm going to post as much information as I can. I apologize. I don't have VCDS. I don't have a setup. I don't have a possible way to have a setup. I don't have a laptop. I don't have. Uh, I don't have money to go spend like a thousand dollars on a laptop. And if I get a used one, I mean, I'm probably gonna have to put a battery in it, find a charger, get a, you know, portable electric thingy. I'm trying to think of it. Uh, <clears throat> converter from DC to AC. It's just kind of a pain when I can just plug in this little port, open my phone, yip, yip, yip. It's a little different, but it's basically the same thing. It does all the same features. Um, if you want the graph of without the math plugged, I'm probably going to do that anyway because I want to run some tests um, just for a graph. Just to, I, I'm just kind of wondering, maybe... I, I don't know. I, I don't expect it to be any different. I, I have a feeling I have two switched hoses, but I'm pretty sure I've looked at three different pictures that tell me all that I have them right, but whatever. Let's uh, stop this. I'm wasting time at this point.